Hi everybody, just a brief video today to look at actually a couple of tools within Civil 3D that will extend our functionality as it relates to working with blocks. Specifically, the ability to trim a block or even break a block into pieces without actually having to explode it. So let me explain. Uh, in my demo drawing that I'm working with right now, I've got some line work in that that's representing a curb and some parking stripes. At the same time, I've got some blocks that represent some vehicles that are parked in the lot as part of an exhibit that I'm creating. Let's say that the exhibit itself is not a perfect square, but instead, uh, maybe there's going to be an area that I need to crop off to add text or something like that in the exhibit. So I'm going to draw a line across that, which is going to intersect my line work and my block objects. And my goal is to remove all of the geometry that's north of that line. Okay, well, we could use a standard trim command. We'll try that. We'll go ahead and go into Trim, uh, select my cutting objects. We'll go ahead and grab this guy. And then as far as the objects we're going to try and trim, we'll say Crossing so I can pick a number of things at one time. And when we pick, we'll see that even though we intersect the block objects, the only things that are recognized is the line work. Because let's face it, from the first days we started using AutoCAD, trimming a block is just not something that they allowed. Well, within... Civil 3D, anyway, there's a couple of undocumented commands that will allow us to perform some functions that will um, give us the ability to trim these blocks. The first one we're going to look at is called Linework Trim. And I can uh, access that, and actually I believe the only way I'm going to access that is by typing it in. So I'm going to type in Linework Trim. We'll hit Enter. Uh, as far as Linework uh, to Trim, when it asks in the prompt, we'll go ahead and select the two vehicles. I'll hit Enter. It is then going to give me the ability to select the first point on a trim line so I can pick two points to define a straight line or I can uh, hit enter to pick on the screen that uh, particular object. So I'm just going to right click, we'll pick on our edge. We see it's automatically defined uh, or highlighted in red. It says boundary edge, we'll pick to accept that. And then if we move to either side of that line, it's showing us what area of these blocks will be trimmed. So because I don't want the information north of that line, I'll come to this side, we'll press pick. That information's removed and it's gone. Now, uh, you may be wondering what I'm left with. Well, maybe it just exploded it and trimmed all those entities. It did not. These are still blocks. However, the blocks themselves are not the same name as the blocks we worked with before. Instead, now these are what we would consider would be called unnamed blocks. But at the end of the day, maybe that's not a big deal for what I'm doing. I just needed to trim this with respect to my exhibit, clean that information off the screen. Now, the other thing that we have the ability, let's say that if we trim this edge off, maybe there was a, uh, these portions of the block we want to trim, we want to break them into pieces, we actually want to keep that information, and not have it removed. Let me uh, undo a couple times here, we'll get that information back. Let's go ahead and say uh, line work, this, in this case it's line work divide, will allow us to break it into pieces. So we'll say line work uh, divide, using my autocomplete, we'll type in that much and then hit enter. Select line work to divide. We'll go ahead and select my objects here. Right click, first point in the dividing line or enter to pick off the screen. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll hit enter to pick off the screen, select my segment. It's defined and the command's over. It looks like everything's done, but what it uh, may not be apparently obvious, it is has broken these into pieces now that these pieces could be removed or whatever it is we would like to do with those. All right, so using two undocumented commands, at least as it relates to Civil 3D, uh, adds or extends our functionality to deal with blocks and that we can trim blocks now. We can also use the line work divide to break blocks into pieces without actually having to explode them. So hope this information has been helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.